Dr. McGuinness, um, given the preponderance of outbreaks in meat plants internationally, as well as in Ireland, why has the HSA not even inspected every meat plant in Ireland? The HSA have responsibility in all workplaces, and that includes public, body, public um, sector and, and private companies and enterprises too. The ability to in inspect all of them at any one time is, is, would be challenging, which is why there's been a cross-government approach to checking of COVID uh, using these other inspection bodies. We are certainly working very closely with the public health colleagues, as I said, through the NOCT, through this National Committee, and through local outbreak control teams to focus and address them, and we have, uh, and we'll continue to have a, a programme of okay. unannounced inspections. Though you in haven't sector. inspected every meat plant, you have issued no improvement notices, no prohibition notices. At our last meeting, I asked uh, what proportion or what percentage of your members paid sick pay. You weren't able to provide information on that on that date. Are you able to provide it now? Uh, yeah, Chairman. I mean, based again, I mean, in relation to a survey of, of members trying to establish this, um, we believe that there's about 20% of of uh, of the uh, of the uh, workforce uh, covered by sick pay. I have to put it to you that the day after it was announced that we weren't going to move to phase four, the acting chief medical officer cited 12 incidents or 12 cases of infection over the previous week in the hospitality sector and that was partly used to justify not moving to phase four not opening up lots of rural pubs um, that that strikes me as quite a difference we've heard about 30 announced inspections lots of meat plants not even inspected and there's a huge contrast between how the hospitality sector has been treated and how the meat industry has been treated in terms of inspections, in terms of manpower allocated to inspect it. Can you tell me what magic touch does the meat industry have in Ireland so that it's treated so differently to any other sector? That it's treated with kid gloves, whereas everyone else, uh, in particular the hospitality sector, is treated with a jackboot by the state? Well, I'm not going to comment reasons. We, we have no magic wand around any of this thing. Um, at the beginning, uh, the meat industry was one of those sectors that was designated by government to continue to operate. And that is what it has done over that period of time. Uh, where we've had problems, we've dealt with those problems and dealt with them with great alacrity. And we have had no cases, Chairman, for a period of two months. And in the case, the recent case, it had no cases for five months. And we have heard here repeatedly that the problem of compliance does not exist. In other words, everybody is completely compliant with, with the terms of the engagement with the HSE as regards the protocols. And we've particularly heard the difficulty about uh, elimination of the virus. And all of the protocols can do is mitigate that virus, but it will not completely clear or eliminate it from any part of society.